Hello all, welcome back to my channel. This is Future B here with another video and it's been a while. I actually have not recorded a video in two weeks. I have not posted a video in, well I guess I haven't recorded a video in three weeks. I haven't posted a video in two weeks and uh, I'm going to be explaining why in this video. But first I have some packages that I'm going to open. So let's get into that. All right, so first here, we have some charms. These are so cute whenever I saw them um, on Amazon, but they're like different like hearts that can go on the top of nails. Some, well, you can see that. Just some little like interesting, really cute things. Those are, that one's stuck on it, so there we go. Like there's a bow and there's a heart. It's a little bunny that says love. How cute. A moon. Some flowers. Different types of things like that. There is some um, pearls in there too. These are really cute. Some nail gems. I don't know how I would use that one exactly because that's not a flat back. So it would be raised on the nail and I don't think I would love that. I really do prefer flatbacks, but I think that these were really cute. So I was like, I had to get them. And I can see some Christmas things going here. Also, I know it's like way ahead of time, but I can also see some Valentine's stuff with these. So they'll be very usable, very versatile. The other thing that I got in this package was some more gel paint yay <laughs> um i'm really excited about this because there were like so many that come in this package let me see if i can open it ah, look at that oh my gosh there's so much right so much I want to say I paid like is it $29 to $39 for this. And look at these nail art brushes. I don't love these nail art brushes that come with these types of sets. But, you know, maybe usable. Maybe. I'll give it a try. I'll let you know what I think. Here's some instructions. It would be really cool with these instructions if they gave you like instructions on how to do certain types of art with them but they don't this just tells you you know prepare your nails put on some base coat put on some gel paint cure it <laughs> like that's pretty much all it says in many steps yeah <laughs> but anyways this is how many paints came in the set look at this so this is four by six which would be 24 on top, 24 on bottom, 48. And it's like, I don't know, like really, is this every color you would want? I think so. Mocha, ginger, purple, pink, purple, misty green, light purple, lake blue, dusky purple, cream, yellow, rose glacier blue um i will have to take these out and actually like um swatch them to see you know is it really everything like is it really but i thought this was like a great buy this also has a white and a black in it i'm not seeing like a silver i'm seeing gray but i'm not seeing like silver or gold I feel like I thought it had silver and gold whenever I purchased, but maybe not. Those are two colors that I feel you need. You'll probably use those in gel paint like the most. Uh, aside from black and white, like silver and gold. Like I said, there is a gray and there is like, um, there's a creamy yellow and a ginger. 
but you know we need some glitter so we need some silver and gold right yeah <laughs> but anyways i think this is a great buy so i'm going to be using these paints to do a nail set so if you want to see what i come up with stay tuned all right so to do these nails i am going to do acrylic nails i'm going to be using mia secrets cover rose and i'm going to use that on all of the nails because we really want to play with the gel paint today so we're going to use just this nice cover color on all of the nails to just do something very simple with the acrylic i am using kiara sky monomer this is a size 14 kalinsky brush Looking back at this video, I was like totally laughing at myself because I'm like, what is going on? I have not done my nails in quite a while and I'm not letting these beads get dry enough before I'm placing them down on the nail. Because this is a size 14 brush, there is a lot of liquid in the brush and I really needed to let these beads of acrylic set a little bit more before I place them down on the nail. It all worked out. I don't think I waste too much product as i was doing these nails but looking back i was like dang what's going on with me <laughs> i guess that's what happens when you haven't practiced in a while <laughs> anyways i'm not going to show myself doing all of my nails with the acrylic just just um the first few nails because it's all going to be the same we're just using this to cover the nails get it to a nice thickness this is a color color I did not use any clear acrylic. Sometimes whenever I'm using cover colors, I will still lay down clear acrylic just for practice, just so I don't skip any steps. But I didn't do that this time. This is a cover color. I just went in with the pink on all the nails. I really like this shade of pink because when it comes to nude, there are some nudes that to me just look too light for my skin tone. This is not one of them. It's a very pinky nude, and I think it, it just it works really well for me. So as I am applying the acrylic here, I thought I would get into why I have not recorded or uploaded in the last few weeks. So I can't see, guys. <laughs> that sounds weird to say it like I can see, but like also like I can't see. Okay, so after work one day a couple of weeks ago, I started having issues with one of my eyes. It felt like there was something in my eye, but I knew that I hadn't um, cut my eye. I've cut my eye before, so I know what that feels like. But I felt like I had something in my eye, and I was like, this hurts. This isn't good. <laughs> but it was like, well, after 5 o'clock, it was getting late into the evening, and I knew I wasn't going to find like an eye doctor open and it wasn't bad enough that I needed to go to the emergency room. So the next morning I got up and I went to an eye doctor and I had a virus in my eye. That sucks, right? A virus in your eye. I'm sure you've like never heard of that. How does that happen? But the virus, I've had it before. And so I knew what it felt like. It felt exactly as it felt on that day <laughs> so i went back to the eye doctor that helped me the previous time and i've been on antibiotics and eye ointments ever since then trying to get my eyesight back and for that reason i haven't done my nails in a few weeks <laughs> that's a long story short it's yeah it's it's not fun take care of your eyes because once you don't have them like you don't have them yeah and to be like doing like regular life and then just your eyes start bothering you is pretty crazy like there was no trauma related to it no one came and like breathed in my eye and I got a virus like no I was just living regular day living <laughs> crazy but anyway since I haven't done my nails in a couple weeks I literally have not felt like myself in a couple weeks that sucks even more whenever you're not feeling good and then you can't do things that you normally do so you just feel out of place awkward that has been me not fun so i finished applying the acrylic here i went in with my hand file and now i'm going in with my e-file to 
just clean up the shape a little bit and to go around my cuticles then I took a buffing block and I'm buffing out the nails after I buff my nails I'm gonna go in with some swipe and a lint-free wipe to clean my nails off then we will go in with matte top coat and I will cure that so that I have a nice blank even surface to start with the gel paint so as I'm going on to the next portion of these nails I really wanted to compare this gel paint set to the other savvy land gel paint set that i had i wanted to compare how they act are they just about the same or are, are they different so i'm going to be using a pink from the new gel paints the color is called plum color i think but i was expecting it to be darker than it actually was it was more of a goodness i don't know maybe magenta yeah and i was expecting it to be just a darker color more of a maroon um so that's the color that i'm using from the new gel paint set and then from my old gel paint set i'm going to grab the silver because the new gel paint set did not have the silver we're also going to be using some of the charms that i showed you in the beginning here are the nails file shaped buffed and mattified now there's plum color and the color on the lid did not match what was inside but it's still a pretty color very pink though so this next portion is going to be kind of choppy because i didn't realize i was out of frame but also i'm not really trying to show you all the nail art like how to do all the nail art i just want to go over these gel paints so i've taken this long liner brush this is an old liner brush that i got from amazon it is linked down below and i'm just going to make a line where I want the nail bed of this French to go down to. And then I make two lines, long lines across where I am creating the sides of the nail bed. Then I took one of the brushes that was in the gel paint set and I go and I paint the nail. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that on my thumb, my middle finger and my pinky finger because those are all going to be French I do the French the same way I draw the first line showing how low I want the nail bed to go and then I draw two lines that connect at that line does that make sense you saw it twice I hope I hope that makes sense and then I go in and I paint the rest of the nail with one of the brushes so i took the liner brush and i just created some squiggly lines on my pointer finger and my ring finger for the nail design i'm taking the silver and i'm putting the silver around the squiggly lines that i did on the pointer and the ring finger and then i'm gonna do some little stars on my thumb i'm gonna do a flower on my middle finger just, you know, some little simple embellishments just to add to these nails. As I said before, I'm a little out of frame for some portions of this, so you're not going to be able to see it all, but you are going to be able to see it in the final look. So here I am doing the lines around the pink lines. <laughs> line, line, line. <laughs> I just wanted to have a little bit of silver on there and it's definitely eye catching. I will say that whenever it comes to the, look, I'm trying to decide between matte and a uh, shiny top coat, but whenever it comes to the two gel paint sets, I think they're about the same. So it was a really great buy and I really do recommend it. So if you're looking for some nail gel paint, check out Savvy Lane brand on Amazon. There was a lot in there. And I've never used a complete pot, but I am getting pretty low on my black. So that was why I needed to purchase some more. But anyways, I've added some of the gems to these nails that you saw earlier in the video. Let me know. What do you think? Would you wear this nail set? I think it came out really cute. I'd wear it. I did wear it. <laughs> anyways, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.